In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called domain of a rational function, interval notation. We're given two functions, f and g, and we're asked to find the domain of each and to write our answer as an interval or a union of intervals. So the question in each is, what numbers would I have to exclude from the domain? So what numbers can I not plug into these functions? And since they're both fractions, the thing that I don't want is I don't want the denominators to be equal to zero. And that means that for f of x, I can set that denominator, x squared plus 2x plus 1, equal to zero so that I'll find the numbers that I have to exclude. And since the left-hand side is a quadratic with leading coefficient of 1, I can factor this pretty easily as an x and x to give me an x squared, a plus 1, and a plus 1, so that when I FOIL, my last term would be a 1 times 1, and the outer and inner would add up to a 2x. Now that I factored the left-hand side, when two factors are multiplied to be 0, one of those two would have to be 0. And since they're the same, I'll just set 1, x plus 1, equal to 0, and I get x equals negative 1. So the domain for f of x would be any number except negative 1, because plugging in negative 1 would give me a 0 denominator, which is undefined. So to write that as an interval, I would say it could be any number from negative infinity up to negative 1, not including negative 1, and then a union with numbers larger than negative 1, which is negative 1 to a positive infinity. So this is our first domain. In g of x, we have the same thing here with the fraction. So again, we don't want the denominator to be equal to 0. And to find which numbers to exclude, I'll take that denominator, x squared minus x minus 72, and set that equal to 0. Again, factoring on the left-hand side. Since the leading coefficient is 1, it would have to be x and x. Numbers that multiply to 72 would either be 72 and 1, 2 and 36, 3 and 24, 4 and 18, 6 and 12, or 8 and 9. And the combination that will multiply to 72 and add to negative 1 would be the 9 and 8. And since I want a negative 1x, then the 9 would be negative, the 8 positive. We factored the left-hand side, and multiplying those factors to get 0 would mean that either the first one, x minus 9, would have to be 0, or the second, x plus 8, would have to be 0. Solving each, I have two values, either x is 9 or x is negative 8. And so either a 9 or a negative 8 would give me a 0 in the denominator here for g of x. So I need to exclude both of those values. So similar to f of x to find the domain, since I have two numbers to exclude, I would still start at negative infinity, include everything up to the smallest number, negative 8, not including the negative 8. I would have a union, again, negative 8. This time I could go all the way up to 9, but I also need to exclude 9. So a second union here would be the rest of the accepted values from 9 up to a positive infinity. So here in g of x, I've excluded two numbers, negative 8 and 9. So our intervals cover everything except negative 8 and a positive 9. 